Hi everyone, welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make bunny sushi rolls. So these are what you need to make bunny sushi rolls. You need sushi rice, nori seaweed, sushi mat, and rice seasoning called yukari to color the rice. And this rice seasoning is made from Japanese red basil and salt. And because it's made from uh, basil, it has this flowery, fruity flavor and it tastes almost like a hibiscus tea or cranberry. But th if this is not available, you can use other things as well to color the rice. Something like cooked and grated carrot to make orange rice, scrambled egg to make yellow rice, minced beetroot to make purple rice, whatever that can color the rice a bowl of water to keep your hands wet all the time. So these are what you need to make bunny sushi. So you need some colored rice, so put some rice in a bowl like this, some rice in a bowl, and put this rice seasoning to color the rice. And when you mix it, you slice the mix. You never want to mash it. Just like this. And you prepare nori seaweed, one sheet of nori seaweed, and you need to cut it into little pieces. So let's cut it in three first by folding it. Because it's crispy, when you fold it, it will cut. So make it into three long nori seaweed and put two together and cut it this way into half. So fold it. To cut. So now you have one full length nori seaweed and four half length nori seaweed. And to make bunny, the shape of bunny, you need this long one and three short ones. And this one, you need it later, so let's put it back in the package of your nori seed. Okay, we are making ears of bunny first, so let's put this longer one aside and one short aside. Place two half length nori seed in the middle, rough side facing up. There are rough side and shiny side. And when you put rice on the nori seaweed, you always put it on the rough side so the shiny side goes outside your sushi so it looks prettier. Rough side up, vertical. Wet your hands completely to the palm like this but not too soggy. And take a little bit of rice like this and place it here. Right below the center line. And you make slope. So it's high here, but it becomes lower towards you. And I have pinky size gap at the bottom. High here becomes lower towards you, and pinky size gap at the bottom. And then you fold this gap up, and this upper part down. Stick it together. You have mini sushi that looks like a teardrop, upside down teardrop shape, and you're making one more. Put those two together. So this is the ear for the bunny. Put the other half length nori seaweed in the middle, rough side up, vertical. Wet your hands, take about this amount of rice and kind of make it into a barrel shape or drum shape. Like this, and place it in the middle. Try to make it round. Roll it up using this nori seaweed and this drum shape or round shape sushi is the face for the bunny. Put it aside. Now, full length nori seaweed, wrap side up, vertical, with your hands. And this time you are putting this colored rice all over this nori seaweed. But make sure to leave pinky size gap at the top at the bottom. Get your hands completely to the palm like this, but not too soggy. And take about golf ball size rice, like this. Put it in the middle and spread this all over. Other than the pinky size gap. 
and it's very difficult to remove rice, but it's very easy to add rice. So you always start with a little amount, which is a golf ball size for this one. But if golf ball size is not enough to cover other than the pinky size gap, you can just add little by little. Like this. So I have one full length nori seaweed covered with the colored rice with pinky size gap at the top at the bottom. Now, you take just a little bit of this colored rice, just a little bit, and make a little bump, about two fingers from the bottom. Two fingers from the bottom, make small, small bump. Below the bump, you put this face part, and right above the face, you put this ear part. So this little bump here is the pillow for these ears. Make sure there isn't any gap between the ears and the face. They are touching each other. There isn't any gap. And when you have the ear like this, you have this little valley here. So fill the valley using a little bit of this color, right? Like this. And if you see this from the side, it should be looking like bunny already. Like this. Bring this top part down. Turn it up, pinch these two nori seaweed together, and you have this rim. Fold the rim onto one side, whichever you like, and when you see this from the side, it should be looking like funny ish. Prepare plastic film on your sushi mat and put the bunny sushi at the bottom of the plastic film. Roll it up tight tuck both sides in loose and put it aside and let it sit for about five minutes. And after five minutes resting, you slice this sushi into three slices. So prepare a cutting board, knife, and soaking wet cloth. This cloth is to clean your knife so your knife is always clean and slightly wet. Just like your hands, your knife should be wet all the time. So make sure every time you slice, make sure to clean it using this soaking wet cloth into three slices. And when you cut your sushi, make sure to slice. You don't chop, slice with the film on. By cutting it with the film on, you don't have to worry about sushi falling apart. Slice. And if the knife starts to squish your sushi, don't go any farther. You just back off and clean your knife again and try again. And you have your bunny sushi ready. Now we need to put some face. So bring back the half length nori seaweed, put it back into the nori package and prepare craft punch. This is nori punch but you can use craft punch for paper as well with uh, this face pattern like this and toothpick. So let's cut out some parts using this nori punch. So I have some parts here and I'm going to put it on the face of the bunny using back of the toothpick. Back side of the toothpick. And if, if the back side of the toothpick is dry, it doesn't pick up the parts. So wet it using the rice here like this. Pick up the parts. If you don't have this kind of uh, a craft punch, you can just cut nori using scissors into little pieces like this. You have your bunny sushi ready. So let's remove the film and serve it on the plate. So serve it on the plate and your bunny sushi is good to go. So this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy making and eating this cute bunny sushi. Your kids gonna love it. More videos coming up so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything.